about you, Lacey? What do, how, do, how do you see um, the world seeing you and, and you know, just uh, talking about size inclusion and all that? I, I agree with Ray mm -hmm. because a lot of, most of your mainstream brands that use plus size models, they're plus size for the fashion industry, but they're not plus size mm. in general. Mm. So they are your thick babes that have flat stomachs or yeah. like have a little bit of a, like a pooch, but they don't have bellies. And quite often, mm. even with some of our most notable plus size brands, they pad their models. So they make them look mm. wider than they are, but they still have a flat stomach and yeah. they have a booty. Um, whereas someone like me, for example, I have a belly mm -hmm. and no ass and then like, can I swear? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> say what you're going to say, girl. Yeah, I have a belly and no, no ass. So that, that means that I like, I get less bookings because I don't look the way that like mainstream media thinks that I should look. Mm. Um, as far as health, I mean, you can't tell a person's health by their size. True. You know, I know so many thin people that have like mental health issues mm. like eating disorders or yeah. like chronic illnesses mm -hmm. and like that's the same with fat people too but yeah, you yeah, yeah. can't tell just by looking at someone but because we've been fed this narrative so long for so long um that's what people automatically assume is that because you're in a bigger body that you're not healthy 